Hey, Tara, what's up? How you doing? Does the world know that you smoke cigarettes? Uh, most, <laughs> most of them, yeah. Can I ask you something? What? Why do you have this health water on your desk? Oh, that's definitely not mine. You have this health water on your desk. <laughs> this you is garbage. Throw, <laughs> when you literally make your cigarettes, dude. Like, you're, you're basically screwed. This is mine. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you have this. This is this is how he gets his fruit in for the day. <laughs> We're gonna give you guys five prospecting tips in five random locations. Let's do this. Not Tyler. He's not giving you tips. Okay. Tip number one. Let's pretend that I'm on a sales call and a prospect says this. Can you just send me some more information? Hype your shit. Don't just send them more information. And say. Okay, I will send you more information. I'm gonna send you an email, it's gonna be the greatest email you've ever seen. And then write a really good entertaining email that gives them information, but presents the personality that you just showed on the phone. Prospecting tip number two, make your subject lines when you're writing cold emails vague enough to draw an open, but related to the body of the email. If I send an email to you that says, hey, your kid's sick at the nurse's office, and then you open it, you're gonna be really upset because that's not what the email's about at all. The open's important, but you wanna make it vague enough and use curiosity to get them to open the email. Don't make it about your product or service. Make it about whatever you're talking about in the email, but vaguely. And don't make your capitalization formal or it'll look like a marketing email. Prospecting tip number three, don't be creepy. When you write cold emails, if you notice something like what technology they use, they're hiring and stuff, make that part of your value proposition instead of saying, I see you use X technology. Uh, tip number four, if you're writing a cold email or doing a cold call, you need to talk like a human being. Talk like you would in real life. Excuse me, sir. Hi. Hi. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Yeah, I wanted to ask you, uh, how are you getting your leads in your different sales tools? My uh, name's Ryan O'Hara, by the way. I don't even know you. See, this is what's going to happen if you have these type of conversations. Instead, go up to the person and talk about them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, stranger. Okay, and tip number five, don't fake personalization. Be specific. Say stuff that's actually a real personalization that you relate with. Find common interests, things that you both have, mutual connections, interests, opinions that you might share that you saw on social that they have. Find something that you have in common with the person. Don't just fake personalization and say, I see you work an industry name and have X title. That's not personalization. Nice job, clowns.